Hello, welcome to pin mail for August 2021. I have stuff from three artists today. I went a little bonkers in their shop slash did a big old trade with one of my friends. So let's take a look at what I got. Okay, first up is Carla from Shark City Slicker. I love Carla's work so much. <laughs> uh, she's based in Austin and I know her. We actually met up and did a trade, socially distanced, masked. We're not messing around. <laughs> so we traded like washi tape and like basically everything. So it's not just pins. I absolutely love her washi. <laughs> she has, okay, hold on. It's just, I'm not good at this anymore. Okay. I was never good at it. It's like trash washi. It's like the cutest little garbage. <laughs> it's so good. And then she's got her little witchy tape. Whoop. Which is so cute. I love, I just love the personality in all of her work. And then she's got a Topo Chico, which is huge in Texas. And like all over, I think, you know. Everyone else knows the glory of Topo Chico. Look at this little sticky note. Isn't that cute, this little sticky pad? I'm just gonna put this right over here. I'm gonna stick it right over here. I won't apologize for that. Ooh, stickers! Sticker, wait. Stickers! <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. A little angry trash. And then look at these little sushi friends she made. Putting my hand up like that actually helps. Look at this card too. Ooh, everything's falling. Isn't that cute? I just love everything she makes it has so much personality. It's just so fun and free and silly and awesome. And you should check her out. It is, uh, her Instagram is Shark City Slicker. And I believe that's her website as well. Just go, just go give her a follow on Instagram because oh my gosh, her stuff is so cute. Her photos are gorgeous. If you just want lots of silly, fun artwork um, in your feed, ooh, then, uh, then do it, just do it. Next up is a package from Jushmu. This is Julie, she's based in Canada. I found her, I feel like I saw her work on Instagram at some point. And then I ended up, she showed up on my For You page on TikTok and I'm so glad she did because her work is incredible. Like, okay, hold on. She's super cute. Also this, this bag was really cute but I tore into it like an animal when I opened it up. <laughs> It could not be contained. Cute little sticker and a little thank you note. She must, she has to be a graphic designer too because her design, what's my hair doing? Her design work is incredible. Like, oh. so first one, I got this Celestial Babe. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? And look how fun this card is. It's so cute. All right, we got Spooked the Bat. Okay, I want you to see the detail in this. Look how cute. So good. Oh, spooky season is here. All right, this one says anxious but still magical, which is just a perfect representation of me during this time of my life. <laughs> and then this little celestial kitten. I love it. I love it. Go check her out. Jushmu. Okay. Last one. My gosh, if I just had, I didn't even think about sticky rolling my shirt. Also, hello, this is Arnold. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shirts of all time. All right, last one. It's Gremren Renata. She's based in Australia. And her use of color is absurd it's so good i'm like in awe of everything she does just just her color theory alone is just so gorgeous but she does a lot of stuff with uh poscas and paint markers on um like paint chips and stuff these gorgeous bold graphic colors with this really cool design aesthetic oh i love her she's an angel walking on the her so this was how I tried to keep my package intact, but I couldn't wait to open it. I guess I'll show you, I'll show you the pins first, because technically I guess that's why you're here. But there's so much more, because I could not contain myself. Here are the enamel pins. Okay, what did I tell you about the color? Look how fun. 
so these pens are really cool you can have the metal dyed in a lot of pens so technically this is a soft enamel with epoxy with dyed metal so some factories uh, only have certain colors that they do in dyed metal and some will match uh, pantone so that just depends on your oh leave me alone I'm talking about pantone so yeah some will match pantones some won't you can ask if you're a pen maker but look how gorgeous and then look at this one so yeah these are soft enamel with a layer of epoxy so it gives that nice smooth finish and look at those colors Ooh! i gotta settle down no i don't i'm having fun okay i got a pile of stickers <laughs> pile of stickers we've got a little tiger baby i love tigers another tiger baby look how pretty i have pretty little flowers I mean, look at these colors. They're so pretty. Ooh, it's a little snail. Little snail hat. I got three of these because I'm going to give them to Libby and Stacy too because I just thought this little grumper frog was so good. Oh, mommy frog. A little tiger. And then look at this little brand. And the quality is so nice. And I love that she added the... um like the names for the for like the pantones on there i don't know if it's pantones or just like paint chips but man they're so pretty okay so i got some mini prints i'm gonna need to get 800 tiny little frames to put up in my office this is a postcard but the texture is so nice it's really soft look how pretty look at these colors i'm obsessed with these colors and then this is just the one I don't know why I'm opening this, but look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And then, because she's an angel baby, she included this for me. Thank you. Oh, Renata, look at how beautiful. So this is an Inktober book from 2019, but every page has the same like color palette, but with a different animal. Aren't they so pretty? Where's my favorite? There's another tiger friend. I love this one. Look at this cat. The cat doesn't care. The cat doesn't care about anything. The chameleon with asters. So they all, they're like all a different animal and a different flower. And they're just so pretty. So yeah, Renata Grimmerin, you're incredible. I love you. Go check her out on Instagram and TikTok as well. And go buy stuff. It's so cute. Okay. So I couldn't leave without showing you some of my new things. Uh, I re-released these little Halloween pins. I made these with my friend Lauren when we had, we had this project called Pin Party Post like four, three or four years ago <laughs> where we did um, three pins per month <laughs> and it was a lot. So we stopped doing that. But I had these designs left over. I tweaked them a little bit, made them a little bit different. I increased the size of this little baddie. Look at him. Look at the little teeth. And then Andy actually did this one. I did the colors. The same thing with the gnome, like we do with the gnomes. He did the illustration and I did the colors. So we updated this one. It was black nickel at first and I just kind of we just kind of brought down some of the line work and more boring things, but we made it gold to match all my other pens. So Zombie Girl and Bat are up in the shop for Halloween. Thank you for joining me in another edition of Pen Mail. It's really fun. I'm really excited. The plan is to just extend these all the way across the wall and fill them up. So if you have any recommendations, if you have any makers that you want me to uh to go check out let me know in the comments so i can go shopping <laughs> and yeah i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye